better still, and best of all, and the true test of a person's character, is not how they see a situation after it's happened. You know what it is? How they react. You know development when you react well. To some degree, everybody can react well after some time. But you know when you've done well, when you react well. That's when it's become you. That's when knowledge and wisdom and meditation has become you, when you react well. Like, so you're pushed and you react well. That's the only time you know that you've grown. Honestly. And I, I call that maturity. When you've reacted well. So what I want you to do is to forget actions. I've told you guys before, actions are meaningless. When you get to the final reckoning and you bring to the angels and the gods and the, and the spirits your actions and you say, I've done this, this and this, they'll go whoosh, and wipe them all off the table in one fell swoop. And they'll say, well, what I'm gonna look at is your reactions to everything. So there was this, there was this, there was this, and there was this. Now tell me about them. And you'll be like, um, but I done this and I done this, I worked for this charity, I done this, I was a yoga teacher for 20 years and they go, I don't care. Let me look at your reactions to things. And they'll say to you, you know what actions are for? Actors. Actions are for actors. What are actors? Liars. You can go away and sit down and, and be ready to perform an action and then go out and perform it. It can be a complete lie of the truth. You can do it just to make, I mean, we're all actors. We put on our happy face, we say, I'm okay, everything's fine, and you're completely lying and you know you are. That's human beings, we are liars, okay? We're actors, we're liars. We're all Maya-based liars. The truth, you all know you're all lying most of the day. When someone asks you if you're okay, you don't tell them the truth. You don't tell them your life. You tell them what you want, what, what you want them to know about. You act. So God in the universe can look at your actions and say, well, anyone can act. There's probably 10% of it that's genuine. The rest of it, you're acting. You're doing things because you think they're good things to do. You're doing things because religion tells you. You're doing things because a book told you. You're doing things to make your dad happy. You're doing, you're doing everything out of actions and premeditated, decided things. But when you react, well, then I love you. When I see that someone's hurt and everyone else has walked past them and you show compassion, I love you. When, when you see that where you could have been angry and you settled yourself down and you gave a hug where you could have given a slap, I love you. When you stopped and you taught and you gave someone wisdom when you could have told them off, I love you. That's good. That, that's your true self when you're forced to react and you respond. That's who you are, not your actions. Me, 26 years of yoga teaching means nothing. If I don't stop myself from being angry at someone and hating someone, you know, all those years mean nothing because I've, le I've learned nothing truly. All I've done is teach a bunch of things that I learned in my own space in a peaceful environment. What does that mean? But in my daily life, am I really practicing it? When I'm pushed, <coughs> am I responding well? <coughs> This is why we say we don't like walking, talking textbooks as teachers. We want people that are really living in the hard, dirty world and responding well in it. And we're teaching people to react well to things.